Alright, so I just made a video, but it was it didn't record the audio for some reason. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make another one. Basically, I'm just going to drain the entire ocean. That's basically it. I don't feel like talking. I just made a video talking, but did not record the audio. So, yeah. Just watch the video if you care about uh, this game, I guess. So basically, well, what I'm gonna do is make a hole, all going all the way down to the bottom of the world, and I have it programmed so that the water would just disappear, since I was testing water physics and crap. So like draining the ocean, you know, I don't have to make a big giant hole in the ground. I can just dig straight down, and then it'll automatically just uh, get rid of the water. But, um, yeah, basically what's going on now is that uh, I'm draining the ocean. And uh, it's working really fast on my computer. And it won't work this fast on a 3DS browser, just so you know. I made it work fast because, uh, you know, I'm making a video of this. You know, you don't want to be here all day, whatever. So, yeah, as you can see, those are the bubbles coming from underneath the world. And above here, you can see that it's draining the ocean already. You might notice this little green line, but that's grass, and it's just uh, currently, uh, it basically spawns grass on top of water. It's not going to do that later. It's not supposed to do that, but uh, it's just a little bug or something right now. So that's why you saw those uh, that grass just in the air. But uh, yeah, basically the water physics, though, it, it works pretty good. It will basically... Uh, yeah, this, this is just draining the ocean for now. I'll tell more later when this is finished. I bet you thought I was going to cut the video, but no, I don't have no video editing software. So yeah, if you thought I was going to cut the video, then that's funny, I guess. I, but we just have to wait, though, so yeah. It's basically draining the ocean. It's almost done. So it works, it's working really fast. I made it have, I, don't know, I made it just work fast on the computer just for the video. And as you can see, there's no, there's no bugs like there's no water floating in the air or anything left over. It basically works like it's supposed to. And then this side's gonna be done. So when this side comes, you're gonna see a bunch of half, half water blocks. And now it's finished. And that's how the water works. Of course, you'll notice that there's a bunch of water, like here, diagonal. It's not a bug. It's just I don't have anything programmed to uh, fix that. But to me, I think that's fine. Programming something to make sure water is completely flat will have um, it will impact the speed on the 3DS browser. But um, yeah, that was basically it. The water physics or whatever you want to call it, that this game will have. And to me, I just love it, though. It works just so perfect. I used to spend, I spent like a long time, like weeks, just working on trying to make the water physics work good on the like older versions I have of this game. And this one, I just, I did it in a few days, and I have it perfect. I learned a lot since, like, these three years I've been uh, working on making website stuff. So, uh, yeah, it might have been more than three years. I really have no idea. I thought three years was when I started making games. I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah, the water works great. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this game, or if you would like or love to see this game on a 3DS browser, which will be available at some point anyways, then uh, just let me know or something. Just something, yeah. It would be nice to know that people are looking forward to this. I am, though. I mean, even if no one in the world wanted to play this game, I just want to make it at least for myself. You know, I don't like wasting money buying games and crappy noise. I don't even like buying games. Because I don't trust people. You know, if I buy a game like Minecraft, 
I want it to have like infinite possibilities like like Terraria. I did play Terraria before on my phone and I I was kind of disappointed because it had too much stuff to be honest. But that's a good thing though. But I I just felt so confused. There was like millions of stuff. But that's good though. You know, they 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 give the game a lot of content. But um, anyways, that's the end of that. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know.